All right, we're going Harris Heller more on this one. What's up, everyone? It's your boy by Desku, and today I have a tutorial video for you guys. I haven't done a tutorial video since the summer of 2022, so I figured I'd do one in 2023. So, as you guys can see by the title of this video, yes, I'm going to teach you guys how to stream in 1440p over on YouTube Gaming. Now, I am making this video since I've been streaming on YouTube a little bit over a year now, and I've been enjoying the experience over here. There are some things that YouTube need to add, and I'll be mentioning that in the next video after this one. But for now, I'm going to be teaching y'all how to stream the quality I've been streaming. So some people were asking me, how did I get my stream to look so clear? And I didn't want to say anything because I want to make sure everything was, was you know good on my part before I really make a video on this. I know there's plenty of other videos out there. I've seen them. So I figured I want to put a twist on how I could teach you guys how to do it. Because the way I do 1440p, to be honest, isn't the most natural way. And some people who already done 1440p could probably already tell by looking at my streams. But for everyone who's watched my streams, they know what I do with the quality is quite different from what they do. But it's a little bit more similar. Now, I want to give credit to my boy Echoes Beast because he did help out a lot when I was working with these settings for my streams for YouTube. He also hit uh, 1K on YouTube recently, so go check him out. Link in the description below. All right, let's begin. So, let's switch over to the gaming station, a little streaming, because I don't even know what I was going to say there. Anyways, all right, so first, what you want to do is pull up your YouTube channel. As right, so you guys can see, I got mine pulled up right here. You know, so hey, you see a little, you know, a little GTA streamer got going on. I stream, I'm streaming now on Monday. A little shameless plug there, but yes, going to one of uh, my streams real quick. I just want to show you guys what you're probably going to be getting. Once like, I go to like one of my most recent 1440p streams. I recently started using 1080p because I wanted to see how that would perform with regular FPS games since S Defiant was out for the close beta. It's probably like done by now by the time this video comes out but it was like a pretty good stream the quality felt kind of off it could have been due to my bit rest i think i've done wrong since i was experimenting with that then but basically as you can see here i got the stream up to 1440p uh it looks clear most of the time like i said i'm getting a video i feel like some people won't really know the difference between this and 1080p 60 fps and uh i'll show you why i say that so pause from that for a second go to go live then go to manage well and go to stream so here i have uh some stuff set up for our old stream right here i usually go to my like scheduled streams but right here i have the main dashboard so just a Fair heads up, you can't do ultra low latency on 1440p streams and 4K streams. So what you could do if you want to have ultra low latency is use 1080p CCFES, but go with a 9K bit rate if your internet can handle that. But for this case right here, we're going to be going with making a brand new stream key, or I can just show you the stream key I have right here. So I'm gonna click on manage stream keys uh, so I can show you one of mine. I already have set up for 2K 60 FPS. So what you wanna do, I even gave a description so I remind myself to keep it at a 10K bit rate since I experimented with a 10K bit rate. I know they recommend you to go a lot higher than uh, 10K, but right here, as you guys can see for the resolution, sits to 13 upload speed. You wanna make sure you have it set to that and also have your 60 FPS option turned on and turn on all manual settings. Keep this on the RTMP streaming protocol. And also, you can, you can have any name you want. I just have it as this so I know exactly what it is. I also have a second key whenever I wanna kinda of experiment with my uh, 1080p streams because this is something I'm personally doing. You guys don't gotta do this, of course, but that's how you set up that on YouTube. Now, you need to go over on OBS now. You guys see that? Y'all see that? That wallpaper is majestic. Go to video first of all. So what you want to do is change the output scale to 2560 to 1440p and keep this to 1080. Now the reason why I do this is because it tricks YouTube into thinking I'm doing a 1440p stream. So it's definitely like what you call it. What people used to call it. Um upscaling. So it's basically an upscaled version of 1440p. You're still having the same bit rate and all that that you would for a 1440p stream. 
but it'll still be in the same uh, base canvas resolution as 1080p 60 FPS. And I prefer it this way. That way my, my computer can handle it because I have a budget PC. Remember, the videos I do, they're mainly for the people who have budget PCs anyways. So if you have like a mid tier PC, that's like a, like a thousand dollars or less. This is what this video is technically for, it's for you guys. And you know, cause I'm in the same boat, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, what you're going to do is change this to, uh, you know, 2K basically here and keep this at 60 and I would use slant. So I'm going to go to the output. I can't change anything because I'm you know, currently recording, but the bit rate have it to 10,000 if your internet can handle it. I have a Wi-Fi. Oh, let me check my download, upload, download speed. So I have, I personally have a download speed of almost 200 and my upload is around 15. So I'm good enough for that. So if you guys aren't checking that or at least around that area, I would not recommend doing this because your Wi-Fi would definitely fumble. You know what I'm saying? If you got anywhere between what I got right here, I'll say it again. I have a around 200. I have around 15 for the upload. So uh, my download is around 200 and my uploads around 15. I recommend going to my other video where I showed off my OBS settings for 1080p 60 FPS for both YouTube and Twitch. So go check that out. You know, link in the description below and also have it in the card right here. You would need at least a upload of six to 13 anyways. And I'm like peaking over 15 for my upload speed. So that's why I'm good to go to do these upscale 1440p streams. The reason why I don't do natural 1440p is just quite literally, I don't, I know I want to try doing it in the past. It literally, I had to rescale all of my stuff on OBS and it, my computer couldn't handle it. It'll get really jittery. So when I do this, it's like a good in between for having a more upscale 1080p to 1440p natively on YouTube. And that's with the VP9. But yeah, I'll explain VP9 in a second. But before I do, uh, here's the rest of my settings right here. You guys can just copy this. I don't really care. It's just everything else you need for your encoder. And I'll also have it in the description as well. So you guys have a full list of what to do. I just want to help you guys out the best way I can. This is how I'm doing it. Because I'm not no professional you know stream guru guy but i i've been doing my research on it since i've been streaming in general for a little over four years now the top go to stream and go to youtube rtmps make sure you set this to youtube primary youtube ingest server uh hit ignore stream service recommendations because you don't got to do this at all and that's pretty much it to what i do but yeah, to get into what VP9 is, VP9 is a successor to VP8. It mainly competes with mainly uh, MPEG's high efficiency, high efficiency video coding, such as uh, uh, HEVC and uh, H.265, which I believe QuickTime uses uh, those. Now, for YouTube, what they're doing is they will have it where videos are under 1440p and 4K, like let's say 720p video, 480p video, and 1080p video. They're all AVC codec, and I'm not really gonna go into what AVC is, but for VP9, you need at least, uh, you know, 2K and 4K and up to have the VP9 codec. And I believe they were even testing something out with YouTube Premium where they're gonna have the only the high quality stuff for VP9 for YouTube Premium users. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I haven't been keeping up with YouTube Premium that much recently. The only thing I've, I've last seen is that they've been like giving people free Discord Nitro, uh, Xbox Game Pass, and uh, 90 days of Walmart Plus, what do we call it? Walmart Plus? I don't really use Walmart Plus or any delivery stuff, so I don't, I don't so I know I won't need it, but yeah. But yeah, time to switch back to the main camera. All right guys, so that'll be all for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, if this tutorial helped you in any shape, way, or form, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. If you guys enjoy this type of streaming tutorial content, let me know in the comments below what else you guys wanna see that these bigger YouTubers aren't showing you or telling you even if it's for different streaming platforms i'll do my best to get the research so i can make these videos to help you guys out i want to help my fellow streamers out whether they're on youtube twitch kick all that i'll help you the best way i can because it's something i want to do but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace